There will be fewer and fewer jobs in the future that a robot won't do better than humans, asserts Elon Musk. Tech leaders, top managers and analysts and millions of people around the world concur. The changes that are inevitable will bring not only humanoid robots, which we imagine as being the future, a more rapid but less visible revolution has already actually taken place, and that is the revolution of artificial intelligence. No, it hasn't reached the level of super intelligence just yet, but much more importantly, for everyday life and business, it has become accessible. And this allows you to use it not only for entertainment, but also for business. I'm Nick, and today we talk about the top 10 industries where AI is already making bank. Medicine is a field where a single mistake can lead to unfortunate consequences. In 2016, John Hopkins University published a study on the causes of death in America. Medical malpractice came in third place, with only cancer and heart disease standing taller. Most medical errors are associated with incorrect or untimely diagnosis. It shouldn't come as a surprise that as soon as AI became smart enough, it was immediately applied to cancer diagnosis, mammogram, and x-ray analysis. Doctors first started using the new technology en masse during the pandemic. Then artificial intelligence detected cases of COVID-19 by analyzing chest x-rays. This helped doctors in sorting out checkup tests and significantly sped up their work. Replacing doctors with robots or artificial intelligence won't work completely and at least not yet. But nurses and orderlies? It might. Early last year, a French company, Enchanted Tools, unveiled Miroki and Miroka, specifically designed for hospital use. The robots with pointy ears and expressive cat faces meow, are capable of pulling carts and carrying trays. But in the future, they will gain artificial intelligence that will make them fully autonomous hospital assistants with a wide range of tasks. As for me personally though, if I ever wake up in a hospital bed, I'd want to see Ann Perkins. Hey. hey. Oh. Earlier we told you that ChatGPT has become as popular as sliced bread. The emergence of such a neural network was the impetus of robotization in the workplace. Now, companies are abandoning human labor and assigning tasks to a bot. For example, the management of a tech blog Gizmodo fired half of their employees who were working on the Spanish version of the site. Instead, they used an AI that translates articles from English to Spanish. The latest high-profile case of mass layoffs involves the largest language learning app Duolingo. Former employees claimed that all translators were replaced by a neural network. Later, the company representatives denied this, explaining that some just had their work contracts expired. For this reason, people left the company, but representatives of Duolingo did not deny the use of artificial intelligence as translators. Prior to the incident, the company reported about joining efforts with GPT-4. The founder of the language learning app, Louis Von Anna, admired the neural network and often mentioned its benefits for business. But language learning itself may also become irrelevant in the future. For example, at the Consumer Electronics Show this year, TimeKettle unveiled the X1 Interpreter Hub, an innovative device that can simultaneously translate multiple languages. The developers call it the world's first multilingual simultaneous translation system. Remember the babble fish from Hitchhiker's Guide to Galaxy? This is pretty much it. By the way, a review of the largest exhibition of robots and technology is already available on our channel, and we're talking about Consumer Electronics Show of 2024. Check out the link in the description below. We're used to hearing on the news about robots that do work in dangerous industries that are dangerous, but they're all programmed to do certain things, which limits their use. However, as we detailed in our previous video, also found in the description below, there is about to be a revolution in robot training that will make them truly intelligent and versatile. And once that happens, hundreds of robots, like the Tesla bot and its Chinese counterparts, which are popping up like mushrooms after rain, will enter areas of factories and warehouses that have not yet been automated. By the way, Optimus' competitor, a robot from the startup figure, has already taken a job at BMW factories. Recently, humanoid robots have been making rapid progress. Every company is trying to create a better replacement from humans and get ahead of the competition. Where will the total replacement of humans by robots lead to? No one really knows, but there's a sure way to get a feel for this. Post your comments below to let us know what you think is going to happen.
celebrities are selling a new service, a virtual doppelganger for filming. Many actors, athletes, influencers, and even OnlyFans models have a digital clone that carries the boring load so to speak, such as participating in photo shoots. No wonder digital clones can communicate with fans instead of stars way faster and therefore turn a profit quicker. Porn star Riley Reid launched a special chatbot doppelganger last year where anyone can chat with her for 30 bucks a month. This was followed by Clone AI, a platform with AI bots for several porn stars. Consulting firm Allied Market Research predicts the market for virtual humans will reach $440 billion by the year 2031. And Meta recently introduced 28 smart bots in beta format. The 15 chat bots were created using the appearance of living showbiz legends such as rapper Snoop Dogg, model Kendall Jenner, and sociolite Paris Hilton. Each of these star bots has a different theme and a nickname that differs from the prototype's name. The company spent more than 6,000 hours training each bot, and the celebrities themselves were paid from 1 to 5 million USD for the right to use their digital clones. Where are they going to put them? In the metaverse? Or what? The role of brokers has changed significantly in recent years. They used to have to work with a lot of data, forecast market trends with all the risks taken into account. This was time consuming, but with the advent of AI work on Wall Street has accelerated. Now there is a large number of AI based platforms that quickly process huge amounts of info, identify patterns and trends giving brokers a competitive edge. For example, AlphaSense's platform provides users with information from a vast array of public and private content, including company reports, news, and more. It's also capable of providing market analysis in minutes. In 2023, AlphaSense became the top dog among similar programs. The company successfully raised another $150 million from existing investors, and its market cap grew from $1.7 billion to $2.5 billion. US dollars. AI has the potential to make travel planning easier. According to a study by Canadian marketers at Longwoods International, about a third of the country's population uses ChatGPT to plan vacations. Specifically for these customers, Expedia has launched a dialogue application based on ChatGPT. It compares the cost of hotels, tracks airfares and train prices and helps book tickets. Large companies are actively using AI technology to offer customers the most suitable tours and optimize the booking process. In May of 2023, Make My Trip India signed an agreement with Microsoft to implement generative artificial intelligence technology developed by OpenAI. Thanks to this, it's now possible to communicate with the service by voice both for booking and for getting personalized suggestions and recommendations. Interestingly, following the agreement, the company reported record quarterly sales earlier this year. Total bookings reached $2.1 billion, up 22%, and while correlation does not equal causation, this cannot be a mere coincidence. Technology is changing the service industry as well. No one is surprised by robot couriers, operators, and waiters. In Beijing's Haidi Lao hot pot restaurant, robots have been serving customers for years. And in America, large chain restaurants such as Chipotle have only now started using robotic servers and robot chefs to cook tortilla and deliver food to customers. Chipotle is also testing an automated ecosystem from Hyphen that uses smart dispensers to add toppings to plates or salads. We seem to be very close to the time when we can communicate with robots as if they are us. Engineers from the National Center for Robotics and Artificial Intelligence in the UK have unveiled the FurChat robot. The developers claim it's the first system that combines a large language model and a humanoid robot with an animated face. This technology is capable of verbal and non-verbal communication. The model was created specifically for human interaction. For example, the robot can perform the work of a social worker and become a companion for the elderly, as well as assisting in everyday tasks. The development team is currently testing FurChat as an administrator at their center. They're also considering using the robot in museums or festivals. AI allows people to try their hand at creativity and realize the craziest ideas. Around 2022, users began to actively master such neural networks as Midjourney, Stable Diffusion, and Dolly. At the same time, news feeds began to flourish with reports of AI victories and creative competitions. 
One notorious case took place in Colorado at a fine arts competition. Designer Jason Allen entered and won in the digital art category with a painting titled Space Opera Theater. The man received a prize of $300. Not bad, but then he took to social networks, where the designer decided to share and mentioned that the picture was generated with the help of Midjourney. A debate immediately erupted online about whether art can be created with a computer. Users split into two camps. Some resented Jason's use of AI. Quote, it sucks for the same reason we don't let robots compete in the Olympics, wrote one Twitter user. Others rose to the author's defense. Typical internet free-for-all. Which group do you guys belong to? Can a designer use artificial intelligence as a tool for creativity? Let us know in the comments below. More than 10,000 law firms and departments of different companies use the case text assistant. The assistant, which is based on artificial intelligence, helps to optimize their work. Case text helps with documents and court cases, offers access to case law, statutes, rulings, and a powerful artificial intelligence search engine called Kara. It can be used to get quick and accurate answers. Users can create and organize their own search folders, comment on documents, and collaborate with colleagues. This smart assistant has been called a breakthrough in law. So who's the genius behind case text? Who should judicial legal staff thank? Jake Heller, a lawyer and founder of Case Text. He knows the job inside out. He started working as a student. Along with his career growth grew the number of hours he spent at his laptop. Quote, sometimes I would sit at my computer at 2 or 3 a.m. and try to find a lead that could move a case forward in a big way. For example, a legal battle with a billion dollar lawsuit or a trial where one precedent could decide whether a person would stay free or go to jail. It was a hell of a job. It was literally a matter of life and death of making or breaking someone's dream, end quote. This is what he said in an interview. On one such evening, he picked up the phone to order food delivery. At that moment, the thought popped into his head, quote, we need to simplify the work so that finding a lead in a case is as easy as ordering food, end quote. And so began a long journey of 10 years. It started with a law library, a mix of Wikipedia and Reddit, and now it's an AI-powered virtual lawyer. In 2023, media company Thomson Reuters acquired Case Text for $650 million. Jake Heller, you're a goat, sir. Frightening news for bloggers and models alike. Now they can easily be replaced by a neural network. See this girl? That's a Spanish model, Aitana Lopez. Her Instagram account has more than 127,000 followers. Now, followers note that the beauty of the girl, her perfect facial features and plump lips is absolutely exquisite. She has a zest that distinguishes her from her competitors. And that is also not a real person. She was generated by artificial intelligence. According to the Barcelona design agency that created her and supports her in her work, the AI model earns up to 10,000 euro a month. It's possible that at this rate, she will soon overtake one of the highest paid models, Kendall Jenner. Modeling agency The Clueless claimed that such models are more reliable and easier to work with. Ruben Cruz and Diana Nunez, co-founders of Clueless, recently said in an interview, quote, Fashion is trending towards robotization. Already some brands are realizing this and are leaning towards models created with artificial intelligence because of their efficiency in reducing cost and time. End quote. Yeah, no need to pay and wait till a model loses that extra half a pound, huh? It's true that it's too early to fully rely on AI. Neural networks are still capable of making mistakes, hallucinating, and sometimes getting lazy, or even refusing to perform the tasks that they were given. This most often happens when the AI is faced with ambiguous queries or topics that violate the limits set by the developers, whether it's preparing medical reports or writing fake comments on the internet. What's your countdown till our world is fully robotized? Or do you think that robots will forever remain just assistants? Let us know in the comments below. Like this video, share it with your friends, and subscribe to Pro Robots channels for more news from the world of high tech.